the tripod lashing. Now the tripod lashing starts with three poles. You want the center pole to go in one direction, the two outer poles in the other. As with any of our lashings, we start with our handy dandy clove hitch and get that nice and tight. You want to move down the spar about two feet because you do want some uh, hang overhangs at the top of this lashing. So we'll go over and under the spars and continue this weave pattern and tighten up that first one, uh, but you don't want these too tight. Uh, as we set up the spar, and I have had this happen where the lashings were a little too taut, and as I set it up, the rope actually cracked, broke underneath the pressure. It was an older rope, but you do want these snug, and you want to keep a constant tension with your wraps. So you notice on my left hand, I'm always keeping a little tension on the rope, and I'm always sliding my wrappings down close to the previous one, just again make it nice, neat, and clean. Now the number of wraps may vary. Uh, you want at least six wraps uh, for the spars to have a nice secure area, but anywhere from six to ten wrappings uh, on the spars will be sufficient for this lashing. So we're just going to continue here with our over-under pattern, and that nice and snug. And again, once we get a good six to ten wraps here, it should be sufficient for the hanging or whatever use we will have for this tripod. So we're just going to start our frapping. Now again, frapping is going across the wraps pull those in a little bit tighter. And so with this one, two to three fraps is all you need. If you're going to do six wraps, two to three frappings, I'm going to do two fraps here. You're going to cross to the other side after our third frap here. We're going to cross to the other side of the lashing, same thing, just frap it across, give some good snug tight tension on the rope, and then we're going to, as with every other lashing, we started with our clove hitch, now we're going to end with our clove hitch as well. Keeping my thumb and pinning the rope against the spar just helps maintain a good amount of tension. So our lashing will not become loose. Ratchet down again on that clove hitch to get it nice and tight and there's your tripod lashing. When set up, again we wanted that overhang at the top. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to check out more videos on our YouTube channel to like, subscribe, and share our channel and other videos.